Now, what the precaution is best for the stepping strings? I was thinking about saying the in a world again, but I did it the last time. Yeah, I, sh I should not do that. Anyway, yeah. Really? Yeah. But what? Why Mono Dam? Why did you kill Monosuke? <laughs> you also froze up. Okay. If you need to vomit, let it out. You will feel much better afterward. I don't know, every time I threw up, I felt like shit afterwards. Mono's okay. He was not different from Mono Kid. He was getting in the way of us getting along. It's fine. We don't need him. Yeah. Don't, don't need him. Let's get along. If you remain in Monocabs, must get along. We are all friends. No matter what, we must always get along. Not even power can stop us from getting along. I will not, forget not if he knows what is good for him. <laughs> This academy belongs to us. The age of Monocaps begins now. <laughs> How dare you take my rebellious tone with me, young man? And yet, this angsty attitude of yours is just so cute. It's so cute how your little crew has shrunk by one number. Yep. Shrunk? You're not getting out any larger, you know. They're so freaking cute! Ah, it's so unbearably cute. All this cuteness makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze. Oh Jesus, what the hell? How horrible! He exploded? <laughs> <laughs> Who you calling an ugly bitch? Stop it! Doesn't matter. Now it's not the time for that. <laughs> Kill me. Like that. I can't take this anymore. Even Kirumi was killed so brutally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, uh. Am I gonna end up like that too? I won't let that happen, I won't let that happen, Himiko. I'll protect you, no matter what. I'll protect you, no matter what. But I don't want to do this anymore, Hydra. Please just stop this killing game. I don't care if it stays trapped here forever. Come on, come on. Oh, isn't that what Atua said? Cause Atua says so. All desire, even your desire to escape this place, can corrupt you beyond redemption. <laughs> it's Monaco Mavo who is corrupt. He is one who distributed the motive videos. I see, yes. It's actually, it actually was the monarchies. Those videos were more dangerous than the thoughts. Took a dream kill me that far. That's true. What worries me is, as long as we're trapped here, we don't know what's true or false. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Actually, yeah. I wanted to say that thing. Uh, cure me. How the fuck does she know that's even the truth? Like, to begin with, even if all of that true, like, if she gets out of there and everything goes like she planned, how does she know everyone is not already dead? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Uh, that must be why Kirumi did not want to show the videos. She thought that if everyone felt the same murderous rage as she did, this killing game would be pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. Hey, hey. If that's the case, we really shouldn't show our videos to each other. Of course. That was our consensus from the beginning, not including you, of course. However, I have seen Kakichi would try to show us our videos to get under her skin, but they did not come to pass. What I wonder were his intentions. Huh? I'd never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kirby said. Uh, um, Kirby said. Well, I should probably say Kirumi like we did, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> Everything you just saw is true, but I only remembered it upon watching the video. That's what she said earlier, correct? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what about it? Uh, um... She said she remembered, and that didn't sound like a lie either. I see. Maybe that video had the properties of a flashback light, if it made her remember. What? Huh? The properties of a flash flashback light? Okay. Still, how could Kirumi remember something she never uh, should have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important for her to just forget. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Um. Does that mean we have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? Hmm. And if that's the case, maybe it's for the best that we don't watch our videos. As long as we don't see the videos, we don't, won't know our motives. Okay. Yeah, now I'm convinced. It's probably for the best. 
This book of videos would just mess us up. It's better if we don't if we just believe in each other. Yeah. That's right. It's best that we not remember our motives for everyone's sake. Hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable lie I have heard yet. That's so mean. How rude. I've almost doing stuff for everyone's sake. It's a lie. I'm sure you won't believe me when I say stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. Um, but maybe seeing Kirmi's final moments has made me change my views. Because... You know, last time you were, you looked pretty shaken up, but... You didn't look like you actually gave a shit. You tried to escape until the very end, running away to leave. Might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe. Maybe facing the truth isn't enough. That's right. Yeah, true. It's okay to run sometimes. You just gotta win in the end. That's all you gotta do. And with that, the second class trial ended for us. A Pyrrhic victory. We had still lost a friend. Lost a friend. Two friends! Jeez, come on! You keep forgetting real mine. What is when Kaido spoke of, and how do we reach it? I don't know, I still don't know. Actually, yeah, you know what? Uh, I actually emphasize with Ryoma a lot more. His story seems a lot more dramatic. Anyway, when we returned from the courtroom, where he was already black blanketed in darkness. For now. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. You're right. Me, yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Why you? What did he even do? It's like you even have a brain to use. I won't forgive you. Anyway, the skin game is over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be okay. It'll all be fine. As long as we listen to Atua, it'll all be just fine. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gunther? Why are you staring out at the sky? Mm. Just even when all bad, this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. What? Wait, you can even see the stars beyond the cage? What stars here are different. Not the same ones Gunther used to. Uh, um... Different? They've been in the position of the stars. Mm. Yeah, want to look in, but no can find star he remembers. Why? But why? We were taken somewhere far away. Far away? Hey, so... hey let's sell her deck, her deck already. <laughs> Wipes it out. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey! Oh, hold on. I have to tell you guys something. Huh? What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. No, no, it won't take that long. So just listen to what I have to say. Also, your face is extremely creepy. What is it? Well, then, what is it you have to say? Um... Everyone seems to be treating me like I'm some kind of compulsive liar. You get it? But that's ridiculous. There's a way worse liar than me in the group. Huh? A liar worse than you? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? What? What? What do you mean? What do you mean Maki is a liar? Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Yama wanted her to show him his multi video, because he was looking for a reason to live. But that wasn't the whole story. Yama was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? Blackmail? Well, wait, what? What's he talking about? Yama just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like, If you don't show me your multi video, I'll tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know that she met with Ryoma. Which means... She wanted to keep her true, true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Hold on! Wh why are you? What, what should I make it up now? Maki's true identity? What? <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. Well, that's a dramatic face. For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. <laughs> You know, this is an interesting turn of events. But would you really kill me in front of everyone? Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. You know, because before this progresses, during the trial, I decided, you know what? I hang, hang out with Sumugi, I kind of liked her, so that was nice, but. I'm done with her, so I should hang out with someone else. And I decided, you know what? Maki, she's so mysterious and cool. She seems like a, an interesting person to hang out with. So I thought, what if I do that? And now we get a development like this. Seems like I made the right choice. But that's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows. Right? Miss Ultimate Assassin? Uh, 
Well, I did not expect that. I mean, I knew, I knew she was suspicious, but... Something like that? <laughs> oh boy. I hope she survives, honestly. Seven gloves. Alright. I do want to save. Or do I? Actually, I need to remember to blur this out later on. Ah, who gives a shit? <laughs> anyway, yeah, fuck. Mark is an assassin. Oh, what? what you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. Hey, you're not supposed to be voice acted. You can clearly see the meteors raining down. Wait, you always sounds familiar. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Dead. <laughs> oh my god, can it be? <coughs> I should not have done that. That's what they have to say. Class trial. God, <laughs> it feels so good now. We'll head to a Mackey's lab on the third floor of the school building. And the way to that way was an unexpected sight. Come on, man. What, what the heck is this? Mm. It's like Weapon Warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate caregiver. The child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Mike is the ultimate assassin? Is that alright? Kikichi learned that from the Moti video, right? Uncom said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of our video. Oh shit, I, I'm curious about uh, the. Uh, Rantaro. Do you have any True identity because he had her multi video. And because you saw that. Mm -hmm. Huh? I knew the whole time. Given my position, I don't personally know before any of you, right? Huh? Oh. Yeah, he probably would. Ah. Your position? Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away what she's the ultimate assassin. And she just let everyone in? Yeah, you can probably snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, it just happened. Hmm. But wh whatever did she ever lie be about being the ultimate child caregiver? <laughs> Tell assassins hide to do all their kill killings. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had so many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude! Please take back what you just said. I too can I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please give me data, please. Right? He reminds me of uh, number five in the short circuit. If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do me. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her, but what about next time? Says so. I'm gonna bet she doesn't kill anyone. If anything, she's gonna have, she's gonna be a victim, or she's gonna survive. That's not sleeping God's lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer. This is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. Mm. I'll leave it to you, going to. Huh? huh, but... Got it! <laughs> I'll have to. I don't wanna... I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Ah, wait, you... You don't have to take that far. I don't... <laughs> ah, wait, you don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak attack! A sneak attack is the way to go. You have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. Um... Sneak attack? Strike before she does? Shouldn't I could a master be saying those things? It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Atua and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. So then, I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom poms out of my mouth. That's definitely gonna help. <clears throat> wow! 
Wow, that kind of perfect sheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Oh, don't guys, let's make it to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <sighs> Ultimate assassin, my ass, always messing around. Huh? Okay, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Okay, let's leave everything to Kaito. Okay, future victim. You get it? Gunther, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens, comes, <laughs> ever happens when you try to help. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, sorry. Come on, man. <laughs> Gunther. Hey Gunther, like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so he's... Oh, hi. Well, well. Oh, I don't need everyone's usual... <laughs> I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. Monaco, man. Stay back! You're going to get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. I just said I don't need your usual reactions. It's almost half time, so the stars should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. Until you guys have okay with class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. I said I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming? That's strange. Yeah. Here they are. Oh, bloody hell. I'm not saying that. They're finally here. Yay, you're so cute today. It's practically obscene. Seriously? Yes, wow. You guys are seriously cute. Have you been always this cute? Have you always been this cute? Ah, oh, let's check on my super cute kids. Seems to be making me go bald. What? Like it batches. He is actually bald in gross. <laughs> ah, I'm cold. Very cold. Hey my cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them a prize? It's too cold, I can't stand it. Hurry, I wanna go somewhere warm. <clears throat> oh he grew it back. Huh? What's wrong? Find you back in the app. Father, we are not your slaves. They will not let you use us anymore. From now on, I will be calling the shots. Ah, good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this for too long. You've become predictable. It's the age of the cubs now. Out of the old, in the new. What? What? But what about all the longtime fans who. Anyway, you're just a has been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work, work on your tan? Has been? Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think you can forgive such? Alright, we have those. <laughs> Father, but the academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, father. <laughs> he is, uh. Well, the button kind of looks like a dick. <laughs> okay, no, it doesn't. It can't be! No way. Are you saying that treating your kids like my property was wrong? You're the worst of the it's worst. completely and utterly wrong! No, 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 no way! <laughs> again. Yeah, he's bald again. Seems the shock made him go bald. It's time for good. Now then, as a new cat masters, we have you, <laughs> we have for you bastards. A wonderful prize. Um, let's see what prize is this, is it this time? And a ninja scroll as a prize bundle! <laughs> you give the most random possible things that I can imagine. Wow, what a bunch of random junk! I mean, bravo! Bravo! We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. <coughs> I had a feeling it was more junk. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh man, we didn't need, need more junk. You had way too much anyway, and it's nice. 
homophobic. <laughs> Love you. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. Oh, Python. Everyone has to get along. Use this price to explore the new areas together. Actually... Also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere, too. Oh, there's multiple and they work differently? Uh, okay. I hope you're growing closer now that you've regained more of your memories. I say I'd like to know more about this lab. It's like that cloak. It's kind of cool. Jeez, this cup sucks. But the is way better. Exactly! Damn, even he knows! Damn it, I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I've recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so... <laughs> Racist. So what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but... Yay! New areas mean, means we can all have lots more fun! Uh... I don't know if we can have that much fun. I find myself more interested in a flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school secret. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with the murder girl later. Listen up. Hey bro, I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, alright? Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, got it. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. But... Yeah. All that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? <clears throat> He's still there? Uh, let's just leave him here. I kinda wanna talk to him. I suppose I should go try out these items around the school like last time. Hey buddy, you alright? You alright there? I'm not gonna bother. Can you like, I don't know, touch him and just poke him a little bit? I go, what, what's the top dude? Pretty good job right here. Huh? You don't mind, but... What? No. No, it's just that we were, really, uh, we were talking about Maki, you looked really upset. Ah. Oh yeah, I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's... Can't believe it either. She doesn't seem like she could <clears throat> could be some terrifying assassin. <laughs> terrifying, huh? Don't worry about it. Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Okay, so let's do this. Those are some ridiculous weapons. There are a lot of different weapons here. Oh shit, chainsaw. Whatever that is. Oh, good. That's a lot. I can ask how to handle all of these. Let's see. Anything else here? Well, I guess there's some stuff. In oh, okay, now that's more interesting. Whoa, indeed. I exclaimed this in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't be real. No, of course they aren't real. There are some guns. Well. Uh, of course, Monaco wouldn't give us real weapons. Exosols may be strong, but if we were to revolt with real guns, Monaco would never allow that. His weapons were real and if Kirmi were here, she might have taken us all out in order to escape. For good people. Yeah, you guys are really shaken up by this. It's like, oh yeah. It doesn't matter if she kills them all, as long as everyone else is gonna be fine. What's this? There are three black cases lined up. Do they all have weapons inside? Crap. She's in my seat. Okay, anything else to write now? I can't even inspect the cloak? That's a cool cloak. It's kinda like uh, Jack Reaper. Anyway, I guess that's it. Yes, I do. We'll talk to it. So, <clears throat> where exactly, exactly am I supposed to go to put those items in? Oh yeah, what's up, Angie? If a new area opens up, that means more fun for everyone. Atua and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun school life. Atua, is watching over us. Atua sees everything, even what everyone truly desires. Huh? What everyone truly desires? Maybe. That's right, Atua is always watching over me. Okay, <laughs> That's a tour for you! She is so divine! I feel like Angie's getting more and more creepy. Honestly, I kinda like the creepiness. She's this funny weirdo. Oh, what is over? I remember this. Okay, key. <laughs> I 
it's, it's destroyed in pixels. Ah, oh, shit, wait, it reminds me of something. The door collapsed, it looks like we can get to the back now. What I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us. Huh? You think? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. The world is full of jests. I suppose that's true. Oh, yeah, no. Staircase, we can go to the fourth floor now. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? What is there? It's okay. Don't worry, Gunther will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gunther, it's reassuring. The tuxedo and the mask would suit you. Um... Oh, tuxedos are essential for gentlemen, but masks too. Well. I should go. I should go, yes. Hmm. So what's going on here? Uh. Kinda dark. Writing the atmosphere was so oppressive I let out a shout without realizing it. I'm just gonna wait for it. Brightness a little bit. Maybe. Uh, um, What's going on here? Oh, those assholes again. Actually, um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop! If I hear any more sc scary stories, I won't be able to go to the back room alone. Um, I can help you with that. <laughs> Oh, but you say it's made, it made, uh, it made up story. So let me in it, okay, right? So long. Maybe. Farewell. Huh? That's it? That's all you have to say? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Calm down. It'll, it'll be fine. Hey. Uh, probably won't, but uh, just don't worry. Hey, so I'm, I'm just checking, but this is a school, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, at least that's what Nakuma said. So it doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, does it? No. Not sure what you mean by that. Actually, I mean this floor atmosphere is completely different. It's like a whole other building. Uh... Making a building like that must have been uh, must have taken a lot of money and work. And all the research labs are amazing. How much money was put into the school? And it was all built just for us. You're right. I did mention what labs were, uh, so we could develop our talent. Your research your talent perfect. perfected. It's kind of like a school, isn't it? It can't be! And Mandakuma really wants this to be the ultimate... Uh, a school where ultimates gather? Hmm. And yet at the same time they're trapping us here and making us kill each other. I guess. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. They were brought here and then forced to do the killing game. Uh... Um, I don't understand at all. My plain mind has its limits. What on earth is this ac academy for gifted juveniles? Huh, we got a bunch of rooms here. Yeah, this looks more like a window than a, than a door. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Oh god. Wait. Huh? Did, did you see that? Did, did that happen? Candles just barely light a dim, dusty room. Hmm. This is creepy, I don't see it too. Seems like something that would appear in a cult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something's going to pop out of you, at you. Well, I can barely see anything. Can you give me more of those flash flashes? Maybe it's a candle? The candles on the walls are only light in this room. Huh? There are no windows here. It gets pitch black if candles go out. Right? Uh, please don't put them out. I, don't, I really don't like the, well. the dark. I can't imagine many people do. Well, I kinda do. Like the dark, but not too dark. It's a monitor for communicating with us. There's nothing on the screen. But just seeing it makes me feel sick. There's more candles to the right way. More? What about the floor? Both, uh, both floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh, oh this floorboard got no nails in it. Huh? Ah, uh, really? Yeah, Lovelord's just resting on top of Crosby's. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. But each floorboard is thick and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. Got to not worry about falling through the floor all of a sudden. But... It's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. 
in, in the corner there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. Uh, I feel like we're gonna come up later on. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. Yeah, just an empty room. Oh, oh this is not an only empty room. You see, pretty sad looking doors in the hole, right? All those rooms are empty. Just like this one. And they only got candles for light too. Hmm. Yeah, so there are three of them. Anyway, we, we now got to worry. No reason they ever need to use empty room like this. You're right. True. Um... Then can we leave, leave soon? The darkness on this shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and the newspapers get spawned in. Well. But there are no windows on. I feel like there's a re that's a reference to something, but I'm not exactly sure. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. So let's get out of it. I do like to leave. So, other rooms like that. <gasps> Sparkle light. Oh my god! Ah, I see. This is exactly like a rubber room. But I guess it's the same way. Hmm. What the hell is this? I wonder. I'm gonna assume this is Mono Kid. Yep. Hmm. I see this is exactly like that. Yeah. I do like to leave. <laughs> I do would. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so what else is there? Uh. Okay, I guess it's nothing. It's supposed to be a door to the ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab's it. Whose lab it is. Uh, look, I should look inside. Anthropologist lab? Oh jeez. That's a huge one, holy shit. It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem ra very rare. It would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist's lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful, my face contorts with, contorts with glee. Not even the university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Still, this damn thing is huge. Jeez. Okay, bookshelf. Expect the books and scrolls. They're all beaver than the old. That's true. I don't think I could read all of this in, in, if I had a million years. Okay. That was it. Dog. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. Looks pretty old. It's got some sort, uh, some kind of strange power to it. Makes me sure just by looking at it. Could it be? That's. Oh, Incredible. can it be? I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Kia, quivering with excitement, reached out to that peculiar dog statue. It slowly removed the white fabric on the pe pedestal. Uh, can this oh. be? Wait, did he say that? Oh, where is in the cage? This is perfect. Uh, um... Perfect for what? What are the statue in the cage for? <laughs> I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. Okay. What's that stuff? Sword. There's something in this case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. It's rusted in places but looks about a <coughs> yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. <laughs> You've drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Ah, so it's not made of gold. Well, that said, that katana has immense anthropology. A per ah, fuck you. Oh. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars and worshipped as worshipped as gods. Where is one such katana? 
It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. Uh, well, that's a super red katana. I want to take a look see. Uh, where did that asshole come from? Kikichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. Wait, you mustn't touch it without! Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. He's gonna break it, isn't he? Would I lie to you? Yes, you would! Kikichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed the sword. Hmm. Now this katana is the real deal. It's even gold plated for that authentic look. Yeah. <laughs> I see. It could also be used as another weapon. Uh, or you know that place with a ton of other weapons now? Okay. Hold on. Kakichi, this is an extremely precious relic. Please don't treat it so lightly or I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Okay, I get it. Please don't make some scary threats. He just leaves the sword back into its sheath. Sheath. And hands it back to Kyo. Ew, my hands are all sticky. That gold plate inflicts off so easily. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please don't touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. If you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Kyo sounds like when he gets angry. He has kind of a one-track mind. What's this then? There's a book in the display case. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. Well, looks like it was bound by hand. Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarming expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. Yes. Oh, amazing! It's actually real! Um... What... what is that book, Kyo? Uh, it's an extremely it precious be... document! Do you understand? This book is a history of a fabled cage dog village, said to have been destroyed long ago. A cage dog village? Is that related to a statue? Yes. A cage dog village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed in the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. Oh god, his voice is giving me a headache. <laughs> But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life, life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means that this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious one of a kind relic that has been soaked in a bitter grudge. <gasps> oh god. One of a kind. That is valuable. I see, yes. On top of that, god damn it, shut up already. Since this book has such a reputation, there are a few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay my hand, my eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... <sighs> oh, Kyo, what do you mean by reputation? Oh god, don't ask him questions. <laughs> the rumor goes that spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. What is why it was buried in the village, in the darkness, along with the entire caged dog village. But it seems those are now rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end this conversation. Oh god, what fucking time! I feel as though I, the only thing I've learned is what I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. Oh, no. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The cage dog village documents contain many dark hearts unique to that village. All of all of them, the one I find most in interesting is a science called the Cage Child. Yes. <coughs> in fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very science. <laughs> the discovery it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. So would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Ah, <gasps> oh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the cult. Mm. No, no. You mustn't dismiss this. It's simply a cult. Some matters you refer to as a cult are of utmost importance to anthropology. 
dismissing things you don't understand as we're called is the defilement of all cultures, yes? No. Ah, uh, yes, but talking to the Sir. dead. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Yeah, I kinda do, honestly. But you're really tired me, tired me out, man. Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead. If it were possible, I suppose I'd like to talk to her one more time. Yes! No. No, no, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling her on the dead out of curiosity would only be blasphemy. Forgive me. One must I call them myself. only at the proper time. Felt the shiver up my spine. Oh god. Oh my god. <coughs> Alright. Whoa. Wait. I don't like where this is going. Um, I'm not gonna go into corpse budge or something. Like, Jesus. What the hell? Um, it's like hanging scroll, but it's blank. I, uh, uh, I'm really creeped out that by this whole thing. Supposed to use something on one of those. Um, okay, I'm just gonna move. Nothing ate me, right? Um, <clears throat> it's a lot of an ultimate lab. From the look of it, I'd say it's for art. Should investigate a little. I got the door number, turn it. Huh? huh? It's locked? Well, that asshole. Yep, seems like it. I guess we can go in. Hmm. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of a hallway. Yeah, exactly, that's what I thought about trying. I'm but it was locked too. Uh, uh -huh. um. Yeah, both doors, doors are locked. How are we going to get inside? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret technique. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening. And the door slowly opened. Oh. Yeah. Yo. <clears throat> yeah, can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you weren't here? Hey, hey. I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? I'm pushing. Come in, come in, please come in. Have a polite Angie invited us to the lab anyway. Alright. I wanna see the insides. Kinda look like a murder scene. <laughs> There are various art and <coughs> current tools. Makes sense for Ultimate Artist Lab. Hmm. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does it mean? Oh, yeah, I'll we'll ask us again. <sighs> I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. <laughs> yep. Wait a second, you said I was gonna answer that question. No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse for that? Oh, you promised. Because I don't remember you not promising. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt and shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars. <laughs> God, that's unsanitary. Oh, wait, wait a minute, we weren't fighting. They were just messing around, you know, cause they're friends. It's fine. It's fine as long as you're getting along. So? So what's up with the key? Actually. Ah, yes, and just the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. I'm a shell out of people and noises, so I can be the one with a great tattoo eye. Yeah. is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Hmm. Wow, like a porn star. <laughs> wow, it's the opposite. And then? So I know where I'm gonna make art needs to have a key, but I'm surprised the mockups knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And these are my all, all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools too. How did you know? Um, uh, what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. Calm down, I'm even worse. You know everything about you, bastards. We are 
because we want to be your friends. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friends with knockoff products. <laughs> in your face. Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Now, now, one of them, we haven't given them a key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You won't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then... <laughs> Let me see the key, yeah. You're gonna lose it, aren't you? Madam swiped the key from Mona Fanny and lifted it to his mouth. Nom! Nom. <laughs> I hate it. Ah, ah he's folded. Uh, ah, he's flatlining. Uh -oh. What are you doing? He just all that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Someone use, might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it will be too late. I want everyone to get along. Oh, man, of them. You're so reckless. Let's carry one of them away for now. We'll carry him like the kind boss taking care of drunken employee. So long, farewell. Let Jack down for way too long. Oh. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh. But I'm only gonna lock this door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if I can't open and close the door from the outside. Ah. Well, I guess let's play it then. By the, way. By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why we slept with Sanji's taste so well. So does that mean this school was specially made for us? But... Uh, I suppose so. Malcolm has claimed that before, but is that really possible? The giant complex was built just for the 16 of us. It's sure. a miraculous mystery, but only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? Uh, no, hold up. Uh, yeah, there we go. Front of X. What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Mm. Oh, wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yep, yep. Unlike wood or stone, wax has soft texture for sculpting. Oh, oh but the tour is the one who's gonna be doing the sculpting. Okay. Uh, I see. Ah, oh, but it uh, seems like people here have been uh, making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death max, uh, masks used to be made from wax. Yeah, wax death masks. Well, that's kind of scary. Okay. Just look at this. This dog looks like someone just got killed right here. And that's a blood spot from his head. This door isn't the one we used to come in. This door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is where you entrance. See? See, it's got a sliding lock. Just slapped on there. If I remember correctly. Alright. And the door with what we use. Yeah. Yeah, the door has a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. No, no, it's perfect that we're not they are not the same. Uh... Symmetry is best and beauty ideal. We like symmetry and the golden ra ratio and such. And then? But I think a symmetry and partitions, uh, partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> oh, I don't really get it, but I suppose it makes sense. Can't stay long, I still haven't found the flashback lights. I have other places to check. Okay, thank you for saying that, so I don't need to investigate anymore here. Alright, moving on. I don't want to go there. <laughs> Is there anything in the back here? Huh. Why is there a monitor in here? It's a monitor for communicating with us, but it's nothing on the screen. It's usually for something uh, for when something bad happens. I hope it stays off. Still. Is this the first time the monitor is on the outside? Kinda of suspicious if you ask me. Okay, back to this creepy place. Oh, well, now when I think about it, I don't think any blood in the anime or the games has ever been red. So, all this being red is probably not meant to look like blood. Even if it does. Why can't I use a scroll here? 
I don't know how you use it, but they have something called scroll, so I assume you can just use it here. What is this? Here now? Hmm. Hmm. It's a red thing. I wonder. Is that. Eh, yeah, I don't think that's anything. Okay. Let's get out of here. This is real freaking creepy. Okay, so I've been there, I've been here. Oh, what's up, guys? What's enough of this academy for gifted, gifted juveniles? Uh, okay, you had much to ask to say. Am I going down? It's too dark, I can't actually see. Alright then. Okay, so this is the ultimate assist. Oh, wait. Did I check this one? Oh, yeah, this door looks suspicious. Like, extremely suspicious. Like, what the hell even is this? Anyway. What else? Hmm. What else did I not inspect? I wonder. Also, when I, am I gonna get a lab? <clears throat> I wonder. Okay, I did that, obviously. Huh, what else, what other place did I not inspect? Where could I use those items? Hmm. I wonder. Okay, so this is the entomologist. Alright, so... Hmm. Then I really have no idea where else do I have any kind of thing to use another thing. <laughs> English is difficult. Speaking of difficult, <laughs> oh god. Okay, so... This is where I started out. Yeah, so no, not here, definitely. Hmm. <clears throat> is it on the outside? Okay, did anyone bring anything inside? Hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. I remember some suspicious statue outside. I wish to try using something on that. Yo, oh. There are fewer plans than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. Okay. Coming more and more beautiful, just like me. Ah, <laughs> really? Oh, you just make him angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No, no, just blushing. What? From your your own compliment? But Himiko, your expressions don't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Your expressions is a pain. That's the only reason you don't do it. She just said it with an expression. Mm -hmm. What are those things? Can we come closer to them? Somehow? Uh. Yo, the exit zone, could you just point me in the direction I'm supposed to go? Please? Okay. <laughs> Let's just check the backyard again. Uh. I really wish there was some kind of like. We're supposed to go here. I don't know where being in Mr. Obviously. <laughs> okay, I've been in the casino last time, and I think there's anything interesting in there. Uh, <laughs> so, where could it be? Down there. I could try doing something with that statue I talked about before, but I still have one more item after that, so... Hmm. Okay. Do I scroll? Did you stop a scroll in his mouth? Holy shit. <laughs> it's the house just came out of nowhere. Okay then. Oh, the road appears. Huh? A building? What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow! Ah! It's not just any building, it's a dojo! So it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right! Like, I wouldn't care if a uh, chef came by car or train, as long as they made me good food. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I was a bit confused by the expression, that's why I read it so weirdly. It's not really the same. Okay, I guess let's check it. Yeah, let me see what's on the inside. There's been an ultimate research lab, and from the look of the building... Okay. It's the ultimate I get a master's lab! I'm sure of it! Well, Alright, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko, ladies first! What a pain. Yeah, what a pain. You keep dragging her along. Pushing Himiko along, Tenka steps inside a building. That's true. I suppose I should check inside too. You sure should. Hmm. That, ro that uh, dummy of a robot or whatever, that kind of looks like the... I forgot the name of him. Anyway, the practice dummy from Taken 3. Oh, this is a huge dodger. At the time, it's new. They smell nice. Huh. There's a scaffold suspended in the air with chains. Is this for some kind of jump training? It's like a kung fu movie. I suppose. More could you know something that feels the name of it? Hmm. What is this? It's a lot doll made of wood. Wait, ah, uh, wait, is it a doll? Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? Okay, anything else here? Wait, a pillar? Oh, pole. This is a pillar? But why is there a pillar here? Okay, anything else? You know, I feel like if you try to bounce on that and you actually fuck up, you're probably dead. <laughs> anyway... Oh, Matt. Yeah, Matt. But the timing Matt's on you. I smell nice. Alright, so... Thank you, I'm to say. So this is my lab, you jerk! Why are you angry? I'm so happy, I just can't contain my emotions! Like an excited dog who just pees everywhere! An emotional ro roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing! Wow, this is such a nice dojo! I'm sure Sparen will, will be incredible here! But... But well, the Sparen partner... Oh no, I knew this! <laughs> Slab! What was that for? Why are you throwing me? Listen up. Yo, Aikido is a super serious martial art, full of training that just fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. Huh? We're going to start with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. This is just kidding. Why did we go straight into actual fighting? You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shichi? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You lack self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself. Right. Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparing partner is burdened by doubt. I'm not your sparing partner. Uh, okay. You might be right. Listen up. You know what works real good at lifting that doubt? Neo Aikido. Because Aikido itself is Japanese martial art, but treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko. So how about you, Himiko? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. If we combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then they'd be able to solve things by force! By force? I thought this was about being pure of hand. Mm, I don't want to do an exercise. It's too much of it. Oh no! Got to! <laughs> Slam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Then you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have a richest heart of, heart of all. You should do Neo Aikido, Yemiko. Turn in your body will help you express your emotions. Now come sweat with me, and afterwards we'll hit the showers together. Neo, yeah, my back. <laughs> Don't just throw people. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Uh, you're angry, I can see it in your heart. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave him alone. <clears throat> yep. I don't want to be thrown to the floor again. <laughs> huh? What's that over there? <laughs> Come on, what's a big, what's a big deal? I can't hold it, hold back any longer. But how? N no, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. Oh, I'll make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. <laughs> Just the tape is fine. We can take this relationship to the next level, please. 
but Mio, they shouldn't. It'll be fine, just come with me, we'll do it together. Oh uh, god. I don't wanna... I don't wanna know about this. Put it on Kibo's arm, Mio made her way to the ultimate event this night. What was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check, check to see what's going on, just in case. I don't think I should. <clears throat> but I don't have a choice, do I? Oh jeez. This is not gonna end well. Please stop me making him into... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say anything. Careful not to make a sound, I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. I looked for a sound, the source of a sound. My eyes were wet. Met with an... Oh god. <laughs> uh, that's a Freudian sleep if I ever heard one. Met with an unbelievable sight. Oh god. Man, you're really fucked up. You're practically throbbing. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must feel so pent up. I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll be much better after that. Oh, um, thank you? Oh, yeah, your chassis is firm. Really <laughs> firm. Like, damn. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. Careful, be gentle. That tickles. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might. God. Oh! <laughs> so that's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. I close the door without a word. Mio was just doing some maintenance on Kiba's body. That's all it was. Indeed, nothing but that. Yep, nothing to see here. I'm going. I'm going away. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Okay, so... Where am I supposed to use the hammer? <clears throat> hmm. One there. There was nothing here, right? Hmm. Yo, Exosol. Help me out here, can you? Yo! Yo! I need a hand! Stupid robot. <clears throat> Stupid Robert, that my voice is breaking from making too much of this. Yeah, okay, so. This pool is kind of suspicious. I don't think there's anything about that. What the hell? What the hell? My screen suddenly turned on, turned off for like two seconds and it's turned on back, back on. I wonder if, if uh, <coughs> recording is picking it up. So back here. There's still nothing suspicious here? <laughs> no. Damn it. Oh god. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. God, maybe, you know what? Maybe I should check the map. Okay, so. You will land now. Okay, so. I don't know. Basement hallway. Here, dining hall. There's nothing interesting. That's the main gym. Yeah, where, where is everybody else? There's cool entrance. Oh, that's just in shower room. Ah, there we go. Part 4. Wait, is it? That's something I missed there? Near the three doors. I mean, I didn't talk to the. You know, it's a button. Fuck. Well, how do I te teleport there? Wait, why doesn't it let me? 
Okay, you know what, fine, I'll, I'll just walk around manually. I can't remember where do I need to go. Uh, okay, okay, let's go left here. Give me left. And left again. There we go. Okay, that's the door. Alright. Okay, so... Where is a hammer, 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 hammer. Hmm, I don't remember anything else suspicious like that. Like a door. It was definitely obvious and glaring me right in the face. But the other stuff. Hmm. Come on, jeez, don't already get stuck in some dark stuff. Okay, so to the left here. Alright. Also, I lament it. I wonder how many floors there are. <coughs> there are. I wonder if a fourth is the last one. Is that Kijo's lab or whatever? Kiyo's lab. Definitely going a bit too high. I feel like there could be another, but maybe not. Oh wait, he's back. Huh. Uh. Ah. What are you doing here? Well, Rikuma stared at me in silence and disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um. Suppose he wants me to follow him. What could be down there? Down the hallway? Where? Here? Yo! What's up? Rikuma's glancing back and forth at me in the picture on the wall. Yeah, I thought it was suspicious. Huh, this picture? Huh? Ah, I see, it's not a canvas, it's a pane of glass. Hmm. Perhaps? Maybe I should use this item, what I haven't used yet in this. Alright, All right, it's worth a try. I held this hammer in my hand, placed the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. You don't throw a hammer, you hit with it! Don't, don't, didn't you have a hammer nails? Oh, thanks, Monokuma. That's very kind of you. Finally discovered the last thing. I knew it. Just as I thought, there's a hidden passage right here. Alright, thank you, buddy. I don't know what he's up to, but this really did help us out. Passageway, passageway looked different than a haunted house. More like a factory. This is eerie in a different way. Okay. Yeah, it definitely is. Hmm, question marks. Let's see what's in here. Computer room, oh. That thing looks awfully suspiciously like something... I can't put my thing... Yeah, it, it looks familiar, is my point. It's a giant machine, I've never seen this before. What could this... Yeah, not those, those assholes again. <sighs> if you've come this far, that means you solved the painting puzzle. Wonder Excellent teamwork. Yeah. Ah, what teamwork? It's just reaching. Because that puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just play along, we'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say, a serious ones are the scariest when they find this snap. I'm certain it's not possible, but did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, we should explain this room. So this is the computer room. Computer room? Ah. But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is, like, super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing, you can even use it to create a new world. A new world? Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. I totally said way too much. Sorry. Ah, I knew it. It's so forgetful, Mother Tyra. You get to try to remember what you can and can't say. Sorry. Why did you help him, Monopani? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? So why didn't you? You were friend, your friend, right? So why didn't you help him? Oh, well. 
Te blikam kedvalant, jie vėl be panės. Jie tu mano tarą, man čia everpen, jie vėl panės, man. What? Backfire? Backfire? So long, farewell! This machine can really can make a new world. What are we talking about? I'm not good with computers. I don't think I didn't understand it. It no matter how much I investigate. Right. What really? Only thing? To, oh. Treasure chest. Start break light. Ah, right, treasure chest. I open the chest to get in. I found one. Flash back light. At least I can find out this place. Uh, what this place is. Why I'm here. But before that. Oh, this asshole again. Oh, you found the flashback light. Wow, you're pretty dependable, despite the lame face of yours. I can respect that. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll, t I'll get well this. You just bring that to the dining hall, you? Okay. Oh, well, off I go. See ya. He chatted away, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left, waving goodbye. But before that... The computer. There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. That all? I do believe so. So, right before the flashback lights, I'm gonna cut this.